Okay, today we're going to learn about the burette. So you'll find the burette in your lab in the burette container. When you're taking a burette out of the burette container, be a little bit careful and take it out gently. And if you want to put it back in, you also have to be a little bit careful. So when you put it back in, don't push it in between all the other ones. Make sure there's a gap for it to sit in and make sure it's all the way down and sitting on the bottom. Try and make sure it's not hanging over the edge and put it in so that the nose is facing up. That way you'll avoid getting the nose blocked and they'll be available for everybody else to use at the end. Okay, so once you've decided which burette you're going to take, although they're all identical, take it out and let's see what you do with it. So let's take this burette and we're going to put it on the bench and we're going to clamp it. And so you'll see it's clamped here so that it's suspended over the bench and we can use it to fill it up with liquid. The first thing that we want to do is put our liquid into it. So assuming that it's clean and that we've rinsed it out, we need to be able to pour our liquid in. Safety wise, you never want to have a container of liquid above your eyes, because if you do, your goggles are no use. It'll pour down the back of them and can cause you all kinds of grief. So drop your burette down over the edge of the, of the bench, put in a funnel, and then you can very easily pour in your liquid. Pour it in until you have it full past the mark of zero, so nearly all the way up to the top, and you'll see why in a second, and then take the funnel out. And you've got to remember to take the funnel out, because if you don't and you're me measuring precise volumes, that little drop can fall down and change your result. And that can be a bit of a disaster, because then you just got to start your measurement all over again. Once you have it full, bring it back up, clamp it in place, and push it back in over the desk. Before you start using it, you've got to make sure that the nozzle doesn't contain any air. So you can see it's filled up there with green liquid, but actually there's air bubbles in it. So give it a bit of a flick, and they'll start working their way out and then let it run through and you can see even after a bit of a while I can flick it and there's still a few more to dislodge. So don't be shy about running lots of liquid through it before you start using it. In any event we don't want to have it lined up at zero. So if we look at our scale we can see we have it at roughly 1.38 milliliters. We're going to allow some amount to flow out into a flask and then we're going to have a look at where the scale is then. And so basically once you open the tap the liquid is going to start to flow out and it's going to continue flowing out and you can see the level start to drop and it's going to continue to drop until we close the tap again so wait till it continues to uh, wait till it's dropped to the level that you want it to be at be that a pre-decided level or till something in your flask happens and then stop it again remember if the tap is in line with the burette it's open if it's horizontal it's closed the same as most of the other stopcocks in the lab so now in our case, we can reread the scale and we can say it's now at 3.71 milliliters. If we take our initial reading away from our final reading, like so, we can see how much have actually, has actually come out of the burette. In this case, 2.33 milliliters. When it comes to actually using the tap, you should use your left hand if you're right handed and you should hold it with your hand around the body of the burette, like I'm showing now. This is so that you're inclined to put less strain and less pull on the burette itself, so it's less inclined to break and you also have excellent control over the tap itself. It also means that your right hand is free for manipulating other things and you'll often want to do this if, for example, say you're doing a titration and you want to mix the flask as it goes, you'll want your right hand because it's actually quite difficult to mix things with your left hand if you're not left-handed. So rotate the burette, use your left hand to open and close the tap and then use your right hand to mix the mixture as you add in the material coming out of your burette. Our four main points then are store the burette's tap up, never pour a liquid from above your eye level because your goggles won't be effective and it's a very dangerous thing to do. Use your left hand on the tap so that your right hand is free from manipulating other things and all your readings have to be to two decimal places. And if you get those four points you'll have a good week in the lab. Hopefully I'll see you there. If you have any questions post them below, post them up on Moodle or ask in the lab. That's all for now. Bye!